Welcome back. As you know, I'm Eli the Computer Guy here for the Daily Blob where we say, wow, look, look at what can happen when a CEO actually does their damn job and isn't running around like a freaking cracked out monkey all the time. Holy hell, technology can be really cool. Uh, so this is coming from Amazon and I honestly did not know this. Uh, I knew that Amazon warehouses use robots. I think we all know that Amazon warehouses use robots, but I had no idea that they were up to their millionth robot. Um, and I think this is one of the interesting things to be thinking about for all the young uh, tech professionals out there or the noobs uh, and it's, or even the, uh, the old timers is one of the things to look at with your career when you're trying to figure out what to do with your career is to look at what people are actually doing, what is actually valuable versus what all the buzz is, right? I think about this with blockchain, right? There is so much buzz around blockchain. Tens of billions of dollars went into blockchain. And then, you know, we've got a couple of products out there. <laughs> I mean, other than Bitcoin, other than Bitcoin, there are a few products out there, but it really hasn't been transformational. It really hasn't been this big, huge thing uh, the way we were told uh, it was going to be. Uh, on the other hand, uh, you know, I've talked about this again with database systems, no SQL, right? MongoDB has just been uh, incredibly powerful and changed a lot of things as far as our industry is concerned. And so one of the things to be very careful about is you'll have the showmen come out and they'll start talking about all this pie in the sky, amazing stuff. And you're like, wow, that's what I need to focus on for my career. And then what it's easy to ignore or overlook are the actual opportunities and the actual jobs uh, that are being created by CEOs that just come to work every day and do their damn job and don't dance around like a freaking monkey all the time, right? You know, I talk about this with a COBOL. I have a buddy of mine who codes in COBOL, doing very, very well. He's a young guy. He is doing exceptionally. He is doing very well. And that's the thing, you don't hear about COBOL anymore, right? You know, you hear about all these, you know, fancy languages, you hear about like Rust, oh, you gotta learn Rust, or you gotta learn Node, or you gotta learn this, or you gotta learn that, or you gotta learn the other thing. Nobody talks about COBOL. COBOL is not new. COBOL is not sexy. COBOL isn't what all the kids are doing. Uh, and that's literally the point. There are so many um, uh, high paying job positions open in COBOL because quote unquote, nobody cares about COBOL anymore other than the people running systems that need COBOL in order to do their jobs, right? So I think this is a thing to be thinking about, uh, you know, especially with things like artificial intelligence right now, we hear AI, 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 AI. And I just did a video talking about how Microsoft, Microsoft is literally going to start punishing their employees for not using AI. So Microsoft as a company, the employees of Microsoft are basically not using AI because they don't see the value in it. And so Microsoft is through a re review process going to punish them if they don't use AI. How comfortable does that make you feel about the, the future vision for AI that we've been sold? It seems like more and more folks are talking about how AI is cool but not actually quite that useful. So is that necessarily uh, what you want to be driving your career towards? You know, you look at this with Amazon, you know, think about technology and all that, and they've just deployed, they deployed their millionth robot. Amazon deploys its millionth robot in a sign of more job automation. Uh, one of my old sponsors uh, from years ago, uh, they dealt with, uh, it was called Phoenix Electronics or something. They dealt with industrial automation. Have you ever thought about industrial automation? Everybody's like, AI, AI, AI. Have you ever thought about the communication systems that are required for robots to do their jobs? Not humanoid robots, not, not breakdancing robots, just big boxes that have something that goes uh, 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 just all day, it does this, right? Well, it actually needs to communicate with the rest of the network. Have you thought, hey, it might actually be valuable to figure out how industrial automation works? You know, one of those things uh, to be thinking about. There, there's, more, there's more to the technology world than all this crap. I'm so tired of AI. <laughs> So tired of AI. I hate AI. I hate LLMs. I hate LLMs. Mommy, make the LLMs go away. This is not the tech industry. The tech industry is so much more than fucking LLMs. But I digress. 
Amazon announced uh, uh, Monday its millionth worker robot and said its entire fleet will be powered by a newly launched generative artificial intelligence model. The move comes at a time when more tech companies are cutting jobs and warning of automation. The million robot milestone, which joins Amazon's uh, global network of more than 300 facilities, strengthens the company's position as the world's largest manufacturer and operator of mobile robotics, uh, Scott Dresser, vice president of Amazon Robotics, said in a press release. Meanwhile, Dresser said its new Deep Fleet AI model will coordinate the movement of its robots uh, within its fulfillment centers, reducing travel time of the fleet by 10% and enabling faster and more cost-effective package deliveries. Amazon began deploying the robots in its facilities in 2012 to move inventory shelves across warehouse floors, according to Dresser. Since then, their roles in factories have grown tremendously, ranging from those able to lift up to 1,250 pounds of inventory to fully autonomous robots that navigate factories with carts of customer orders. A Pew Research survey published in March found that both AI experts and general public uh, see factory workers as one of the groups most at risk of losing their jobs because of AI. That's a concern addresser appeared to attempt in the address in a statement. Quote, these robots work alongside our employees, handling heavy lifting and repetitive tasks while creating new opportunities for our frontline operators to develop technical skills, Dresser said. He added that Amazon's next generation fulfillment center in Shreveport, Louisiana, which was launched late last year, required 30% more employees in reliability, maintenance, and engineering roles. Uh, however, the news of Amazon's robot expansion came soon after CEO Andy Jassy told CNBC that Amazon's rapid rollout of generative AI will result in, quote, fewer people doing some of the jobs that technology actually starts to automate. So anyways, there we go. We have Amazon deploying its millionth robot. Did you even realize any companies in the world had a million robots running around? That's a hell of a thing. And it is kind of fascinating. Right? I, I really do think about that with this modern world of technology, right? Where we have the Sam Altmans of the world who won't shut the fuck up, right? We have Elon Musk. Oh my God, he just needs to go take a sleep. Go to sleep. Give him a cookie and tell him to take a nap for Christ's sakes, right? You have Elon Musk. You have all the, you know, you have Mark Zuckerberg. You have all these people out in the technology world and they're taking up all the air, right? They're screaming about AI. They're screaming about metaverses. They're screaming about cryptocurrencies, right? There's raw, there's just, just a cacophony of these, uh, these techno kings, these masters of the universes uh, that won't shut up. Uh, and what's interesting to see is that so much of the rest of the tech industry is just kind of, you know, plugging along and doing their damn jobs. They're actually shipping product, they're deploying product, they're maintaining product, they're just doing what it is that they're doing. They are actually, in fact, changing the world. Uh, and then they're going home and being with their spouses and not uh, you know, doing whatever the hell it is Elon Musk is currently doing with a chainsaw. So, uh, so I do think this is kind of an interesting thing and I'll be, be interested to see uh, where this goes uh, moving forward uh, for companies like Amazon and basically what, what will be the effects of this on a larger scale. So, um, so you think about this, right? And so like what, what Amazon does, all these companies do, is they say very narrowly defined words, narrowly defined words, right? We increased the number of employees by 30% in these departments. Anyways, <laughs> right, but it's very narrow. One of the interesting things, when we think about overall jobs though, is the whole question of what is the modern iteration of Amazon and also the modern iteration of Walmart? Uh, I'm gonna do a story talking about Walmart's dark, dark stores uh, in one of these uh, things that I do. Anyways, how this modern iteration of commerce is going to change communities, right? Because if Amazon basically has an unlimited inventory, they have an unlimited inventory that more or less they're trying to get to you same day or next day, basically anywhere you are, especially in the United States. So they're, they're deploying more uh, same day, next day delivery to like 4,000 uh, small town and rural areas. So the idea is that if you're in a rural area and you want a, you know, a 65 inch, 4k tv you can have it on your doorstep in you know in a day or whatever and so one of the curious things to be thinking about this with like amazon is let's say they actually do need more employees because there is this thing like 
if you if you increase efficiency in certain areas that actually drives more work in other areas so so if if you can start selling more products so if the robots start doing uh, more a larger percentage of the work but you increase the overall amount of work you may in fact need more employees so that's where you can say even as we grow the number of robots we have we need more employees but here's the thing as companies like amazon become more efficient right as you can start ordering food from amazon or walmart whoever else uh, more easily as you can buy a tv as you can buy tools as it becomes easier and easier to buy weird miscellaneous products the curious thing then becomes is what what happens to the local businesses in your area right if you have an electronics store in your area but everybody starts buying from Amazon, right? Amazon might need more employees as the, the electronics store goes belly up, right? Grocery stores, right? If you, if you can get any food that you want from Amazon, are you necessarily going to go to the grocery store as much? I've actually been, I, honestly, I've been thinking about this for myself. I eat a lot of uh, shelf-stable products, uh, pasta, beans, that type of thing. Anyways, right, I can just order that. I can just go to Amazon, pick exactly what I want, have it dropped off at my door, you know, today or the next day, and then I don't even have to worry about the grocery store and worrying about, you know, whether they have certain things in stock. Think about this, right? If you're in a rural area and you go to the grocery store and they don't have the food that you want in stock, you'll buy something else. The important thing for that store is that you bought something when you went into the store, right? As long as you have people buying stuff, you maintain and stay in business. Uh, what happens is as things become more efficient to basically have things literally shipped to individually shipped to you, then what is the viability of those grocery stores? What are the viability of those, uh, those hardware stores? And then what happens to the viability of these small towns, right? It's kind of one of those, things to be pondering right when i was young in the 1980s they talked about how malls malls killed the small town and then box stores killed the small town and now robots and same day delivery are going to kill the small town and i'll be curious and i'll be curious to see how this kind of works out at the end of the day like do you do you get to a state of efficiency where you just do not have enough work for everybody to do something do we have systems in place to reallocate our human resources to do tasks that are actually valuable like how do you how do you reskill somebody from retail or warehousing or whatever into doing you know elder care or child care or something like that i don't know it's one of those things that I ponder and I think about. So what do you think about this? What do you think about a million robots, the millionth robot running around the Amazon uh, warehouses? What do you think about the fact that this might be the first time you've actually heard of it? That you did not, that you did not know that they had 900,000 robots running around? What do you think about a CEO that just does their damn job and doesn't run around like a maniac all the time? And uh, what do you think about, again, not just for uh, employment, uh, but for society in general, how all this will work out. Will, you know, that's kind of the thing. Like we're all looking at um, like robo taxis right now, right now, right? There's that focus. There's that focus and focus, right? So everybody's looking at robo taxis or they're looking at the humanoid robots, right? There's so much focus on LLMs and humanoid robots and robo taxis. You're not thinking about these weird little pucks that are running around, around warehouses, <laughs> lifting things in and out of uh, shelving units. Could, could, the, could the technological revolution already be well underway, but people don't even know to pay attention to it? I don't know. Something to ponder, something to think about. Uh, whether it's a thumb up, a thumb down, a good comment or a horrible comment, do remember uh, in the modern world of social media, uh, all that matters is an interaction. So please leave an interaction on the video. And with that, I'll see you later.